Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain speaking. First, I would like to welcome everyone on Air France Flight A380. You're currently cruising at an altitude of 33,000 feet and an airspeed of 400 miles per hour. The time is 10.40 p.m. The weather looks good and we expect it to remain the same for the rest of our journey. The cabin crew will be coming around in about 20 minutes time to offer you a light snack and beverage. I'll talk to you again before we leave. Breaking news. At about 11 past 11 p.m. EFT today, Air France Flight A380, 366 passengers on board, crashed into the Atlantic Ocean. The plane crashed 40 miles north of St. George Island, Bermuda. It is reported that no one survived the crash. No one survived the crash. Except me. My name is Sharv Devon and this is my story. I worked on SETI program, search for extraterrestrial intelligence, aliens. My interest in the ETI started early in my childhood. Born into a religious Hindu family in Gauri Bidanur, India, I was acclimatized to the clash between science and religion right from my childhood. Gauri Bidanur was known for two things. The Vidurashwata temple, where people asked God for wishes, and the enormous radio telescope array, using which scientists attempted to communicate with extraterrestrial beings. I studied at a Christian convent, where in Sunday school, they taught us about creationism, Adam and Eve, and from Monday to Friday, my science teacher taught us evolution and the Big Bang. At home, I would pray to the Hindu gods and at school, to Jesus Christ. That taught me the thought. If there can be more than one creator, there can be more than one creation too. Thus, I used my spirituality to fuel my belief in ETI. My interest in ETI only grew from there on and I flew across continents to become a radio astronomer for the SETI program. My interest grew into an obsession and I started listening to hours and hours of radio noise in search of an ETI signal. When the SETI program was closed down and the funding was pulled off, I joined a couple of friends and went private. Radio astronomy was not the only way to fuel my obsession. We flew across the world and interviewed alien contactees and recorded their experiences, hoping to find some meaningful pattern from them. I was warned that it would be a waste of a career as I was delving from science to pseudoscience. I didn't care. 
ada satu mimpi. Tapi saya begitu pasti ia benar. Saya berterbang di atas awan dan melihat hidup saya lalu depan muka saya macam muka surat buku. Tiba-tiba saya nampak dia, ibu, tersenyum. Dan segera saya pasti tujuan saya di dunia ini. Kemudian saya bangun untuk kehidupan ini. Sir, no need to be scared. It's okay. It's okay. I was sleeping when I was awoken by a ray of light. I followed the ray of light to a nearby cornfield where I saw fireflies forming geometric patterns. It was then when I saw this giant object in the sky. It was the most magnificent thing I'd ever seen. जर तू मजाब विश्वास नहीं जगतले सर्वज सोड़ मी एक उलका वर्ष पे वास्तुस्थिति तुला पटना नहीं मी का संगू मी का खोट बोलता The interviews were taking me nowhere. I got a job offer for a managerial position at a leading astrophysics institute, and my funds were declining. I was going to give up on my search when I received information about a very queer person, Kolob, in Easter Island. I decided to meet him as one last attempt. Kalaba in Jaisalmer India he was obsessed with life outside of earth and for some unknown reason his search brought him from Jaisalmer to Easter Island and he settled there on further research we figured that Jaisalmer and Easter Island were antipodes geometrically opposite locations on earth what did that have to do with ETI i was going to find out I was also warned that he had lost his mind. He was crazy. But I was curious too. Kalaba kiya kuch na hote. An kiya sab hoye. Jo kiya kuch hote karta hai aur hoye. What does that mean? What does anything mean? What does your life mean? Who are you among the millions? And who am I? I don't know. I was told you saw them, extraterrestrials. Is it true? You wouldn't have come all this way if you were doubtful. What do they look like? That's it. This guy was worshiping a statue of his own self. I lost it. But just as I was about to leave, he said something. Aurelia. Excuse me? The answer to your questions. The direction to your destination. Aurelia. about it in my research going back to the basics i remembered that aurelia and blue moon are a hypothetical planet and moon in which extraterrestrial life could exist but it was just a theoretical extrasolar planet that scientists hypothesized it didn't make any sense i was going crazy aurelia yes i'm aurelia 
Oh, really? Yeah. What was it? A coincidence? How could it be possible? Aurelia is a girl? I wondered how this girl was going to be the answer to my questions, the solutions to my search. There was something about her, though, that attracted me to her. How is it that all my frustration and fatigue faded into thin air when she breathed life into me? How is it the introvert that I am became all so bubbly and talkative when she engaged me in an eye lock? Oh Aurelia, oh Aurelia. She called me the telescope guy and I called her the microscope girl. That summed up our personalities and also our careers. A biotechnologist by profession, she worked on genetic storage. I first she was using bacteria to store terabytes of data. Sequences. Then I mix my components and use a primer machine to amplify this message. Next I store the DNA in this bacterial strain that I created. I call it Bacillus DZ. It has a thick spore wall covering it, which makes it almost invincible. Gradually, we bonded over our work, and we understood each other's work for the most part. Are you going to help me through this? Mm, I'll check it after. Aurelia? Somewhere in this vast space, there is life out there. But what if there is life not in space, but in different dimension? Maybe in a parallel universe? That is a terrible waste of space then. What if the vastness is just an illusion, like inside a planetarium? I don't know. I don't care. I felt like if I had Aurelia, I didn't need anything else. But in a real world, you got to be real. I agreed to take up the managerial position at the Astrophysics Institute. I agreed to let go of my ETI search. For Aurelia. For us. You've made me crazy as you. Ranja Ranja Kardi Vetu. Aap hai Ranja Hoy. Ranja Ranja Kardi Vetu. Aap hai Ranja Hoy. It seemed like our love made the universe jealous. Like our purity astounded Seraphim. 
like the devil shivered at our zeal our good times didn't last long when the microscope girl started looking through the telescope things were not in our favor she quoted cultural differences to be a major obstacle for our future together they like me right so eventually if i like you they'll come around it's it's, it's pointless it works sometimes it doesn't what do you do when you love someone so much that you're ready to give her anything she wants and she wants separation i gave her what she wanted which i spoke to god now tells me of our evenings together the road i walked to seek salvation now say of the days we walked them together you stole my god and my salvation now i want you to be both i want you to be my everything life was empty i had no direction i was not angry with her though it was not her fault i was angry at the creator unable to live unable to die i lived in limbo for months <laughs> during those times the only thing that would put me to sleep was a green dot my chat window that showed me that she was out there somewhere and one day i had a dream decrypted this message know that you are not alone we come in peace we are from a planet called earth also stored with this is what we call the arecibo message you can use it to find us we offer our friendship
Aurelia was working on the genetic storage using a bacterial strain she created, Bacillus DZ. Using her method, you could encode information into the DNA of the bacteria. Thus, bacteria could be used to store data, like a hard drive. She made Bacillus DZ to be very resilient using a thick spore wall. This, if I'm right, could be the ultimate SETI project. Some cyanobacteria are known to have lived in outer space. Using the magnetic field of Jupiter, this bacteria encoded with my message could be sent light years away. But I needed to transmit it out there somehow. This was big. This was life changing. This could have been active city at its best. clear, there was no turbulence, and the next instant, the flight crashed. But how did I survive? Why did I? Where is this place? I'm thirsty. I need to focus. I need to find water.
Who's there? I can feel your presence. Come in front of me. Sharp. Sharp Devan. We don't have a form. We don't have a voice. We exist in a different plane of reality, in a different level of existence. You will see us the way you want to see us. You had so much hatred against us, and so we appeal to you as an embodiment of all your hatred, yourself. You say we. Does that mean there's more than one of you? Is is there more than one God? When there is nothing called form, what marks the difference between one and many? So, is there intelligent life outside of Earth? Or are humans alone in the universe? We did create other life forms. So who are they? Where are they? What do they look like? Where can I reach them? Sure. This is not the right time for you to know or to try to reach them. You acted in a hasty manner, and we had to take drastic measures. So, so you mean to say, you mean to say you caused the air crash? Relax. You killed over three hundred people to just stop me from spreading the spores. What kind of a god kills his own creation? How many kinds do you know of? You could have done something else. You could have just not let the idea of form in my head form in the first place. We do not interfere with free will. You could have just killed me. I fell from over thirty thousand feet, and not a scratch on my body. You could have just let me die. Drastic measures. Sure, your story does not end here. You have a greater purpose. So am I just a cogwheel in your grand scheme of life? What if I choose to kill myself now? You cannot interfere with that. It's my free will. But why would you, Aurelia? Why, God? Why? I was so happy with Aurelia. We were so happy together. Why did you have to take it all away from me? And she left me because of cultural differences. It all starts with you, God. Race, religion, caste, everything starts with you. You are the reason for all misery on earth. I will not let you control my life anymore. I will end it all here right now. Sure, you're not thinking straight. Calm down. You do have a great life. You do. Here I am.
went in search of aliens and found God. I don't know what he meant. I don't even know if this all happened. But I'm not able to think. My head is spinning. My eyes are going dark. I can't take it anymore. Sharv? 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 Wake up! Manu is crying. Attend to him. I'm cooking. What more can I ask for? I have the love of Aurelia and our beautiful little kid. Couldn't ask for anything more. I stopped my search for ETI, took the desk job, life is beautiful, he is beautiful, all praise to God. friendship. 